All right, economic costs and profit. Exam likes this because there's some new terminology for us and some calculation. As accountants, we're used to the term accounting profit or net income. Accounting profit is revenue minus expenses. But there are other definitions of profit besides accounting net income under US GAAP. There are other definitions of profit. Accounting net income only subtracts what we call explicit costs from revenue to arrive at net income. So there's another term we need to know, the term explicit costs. These costs include out-of-pocket payments to outsiders. Explicit costs are those requiring actual cash disbursement. And in accounting, to get net income, we subtract these explicit costs from revenue to arrive at net income. But in economics, there's two other terms for profit, and you might need to know what they are and how to calculate them. So besides accounting net income, there's the term normal profit and the term economic profit. Both normal profit and economic profit will always be lower than accounting profit. Why? Because they include implicit costs, not just explicit costs. See, we just said that accounting net income only subtracts explicit costs from revenue, but normal profit and economic profit are going to be lower than accounting profit because they also include implicit costs, not just explicit costs. All right, so what's normal profit then? And then we'll talk about economic profit. Normal profit is the level of profit necessary to induce entrepreneurs to enter a market and to remain in the market. So to go from accounting profit to normal profit, subtract the implicit cost of what the entrepreneur could have made had she remained employed at her old job and not started her own business. So if you take the new business net income that the entrepreneur started, take the net income from that new business and subtract the entrepreneur's former salary from the old job, that's normal profit. Okay, so that means normal profit will always be lower than the accounting net income the normal profit will always be lower than the accounting net income because we're going to start with the net income and then we're going to subtract the entrepreneur's former salary from her old job to arrive at normal profit. So that implicit cost of what the entrepreneur could have made had she remained employed at her old job, that's going to be subtracted. That's an implicit cost to arrive at normal profit. So we're going to start with accounting net income and that doesn't take into account any implicit costs but then we're going to subtract just this one implicit cost, the entrepreneur's salary at her former job. Okay, if that's normal profit, the level of profit necessary to induce entrepreneurs to enter and remain in the market, then what's economic profit? Economic profits are when a firm earns more than the profits needed to remain in business. So if we start with normal profit and then subtract other implicit costs, such as opportunity costs, that's how we go from normal profit to arrive at economic profit. So economic profit will always be lower than normal profit. Normal profit will be lower than accounting net income. Economic profit will be the lowest of the three because economic profit's the only one of the three that takes into account all the implicit costs as well as all the explicit costs. So explicit costs plus implicit costs together are referred to as economic costs. And if we start with revenue and subtract all economic costs, we'll get economic profit. All right, let's try this question. In the calculation of economic profit, economists refer to costs requiring actual cash disbursement as what? And those costs would be explicit costs. And of course, we would take explicit costs from revenue to arrive at accounting profit, accounting net income. And then if we include the implicit costs as well, then we're talking about all economic costs. And if you subtract all economic costs from revenue, you would get economic profit. But in the calculation of economic profit, those costs that require actual cash disbursement are your explicit costs. B is correct here. All right, how about this one? Economic profits are best described as A, when a firm earns a level of profit necessary to remain in the market, 
No, that's normal profit. B, the foregone salary of the entrepreneur. No, that's an implicit cost that's subtracted from accounting net income to arrive at normal profit. C, when a firm earns revenues greater than expenses based on accrual accounting rules, well, that's net income. That's not economic profit. So it must be D, when a firm earns more than the profits needed for it to remain in business. That's what economic profits are. And the answer is D. So let's review what we know so far. Accounting net income is revenues minus expenses under accrual accounting rules. That's the one we know about from the FAR exam. Normal profit is going to be less than that. Normal profit is the level of profit necessary to induce entrepreneurs to enter and remain in the market. Economists view normal profit as an implicit cost of economic activity. To go from accounting profit to normal profit, subtract the implicit cost of what the entrepreneur could have made had she remained employed at her old job and not started this new business. So normal profit will be lower than what's reported on the income statement as net income. Economic profit is when a firm earns more than the profits needed to remain in business, more than normal profit. If we start with normal profit and subtract other implicit costs, such as opportunity costs, we arrive at economic profit. Economic profit is a higher hurdle. Because in order to earn any economic profit, you first have to earn normal profit, and then you've got to cover opportunity costs. These are what? What are opportunity costs? Opportunity cost is the return available from the best alternative investment or the best alternative use of the resources. So in order to have any economic profit, you first have to have normal profit, and then you have to show that you've earned enough to cover the return available from the best alternative investment. And that's why economic profit will always be a lower amount than normal profit. Economic profits are when a firm earns more than the profits needed for it to remain in business. We start with normal profit and then subtract those other implicit costs, such as opportunity costs. And if we still have a positive number when we get done, then we have economic profit. Let's try this. If Henry used 100000 from his savings account that was paying 4% annually to open up a gift store, the opportunity cost of this investment annually would be what? And you can see the answer would be $4,000, letter C, because opportunity cost is defined as the return available from the best alternative investment. So the alternative investment would be to leave the money where it is, earning 4% on the 100000 and that would be a $4,000 return. That's the opportunity cost of the investment in the gift store, because $4,000 is the return available from the best alternative investment, letter C. All right, during the previous year, Armand Corp produced 400,000 canooters and sold them all for $10 each. So that's what, $4 million of revenue? The explicit costs of production were a million seven, and the implicit costs of production were 300,000. The firm had an accounting profit and economic profit of, all right, let's focus on accounting profit. That would just be the revenue minus the explicit costs. So it would be 4 million minus a million seven, two million three would be your accounting profit, but three of the choices say that. How do we get economic profit from that? Well, we would subtract all of the implicit costs from the two million three, and we'd get two million dollars for economic profit, and the answer would be A. Notice we have two million three of accounting profit, but we have two million of economic profit. If you have economic profit, it'll always be lower than accounting profit.